Fine Co. community, Marta Locklear here. Uh, today we are going to take a look at the new AI masking tools by Lightroom. I have this beautiful session by Caroline Tran that came in. Um, she just sent these in to us and we wanted to do a video for her presets. So this way I can show you one of her presets and show you how to use the new masking tools. And I figured this was a perfect session to do that with. Both these images are straight out of camera. Um, but you can see the color overall is completely different between them. Same couple, same location, and um, maybe just a different perspective. And I even checked the settings. All the settings were the same. It's just the way the camera read this one, and it just came out a little more dull. But we want to make them so they both go together, and we want to bring out the vivid colors that we see in this image, even before an edit, into this image. And I'm going to use the new AI masking tools to show you how to do that. But first, let's go ahead and edit this image on the left and today we're going to use Vibrant. Um, Caroline's been leaning on Vibrant quite a bit for her work lately and I think it looks beautiful and it's a perfect one for this session so I'm just increasing the shadows since they're slightly backlit. There we go and really there's not a lot to do on this one. This one's pretty easy. So let's go ahead to this one and you can see when I run Vibrant on this one even if I warm it up a little it's just not the same. This one looks very dull in comparison. The greens are just dull. So let's just go ahead and give this one a little light. So before when we clicked on masking, we would have to use either brush, linear, or radial, and we'd have to go in here with the brush and brush all around them and brush the entire background and it would take forever. Now, all I have to do is click background and the AI literally, I mean, it's down to the tiniest little sliver and it's perfect. So then we can just adjust from there. So I'm going to actually bring the exposure down just a smidge, increase saturation to get those colors to pop. Now remember, I've already run the preset on here. So we want to really just push that color, but I don't want to overdo it from this one. So I'm just kind of using this as an example to make sure we're on the right track. Go ahead and lift the shadows a little. That helps brighten things up. And this is just editing the background. They are staying exactly the same and aren't moving in color tone at all. That looks beautiful. And now if I want to work on them, all I have to do is click the plus sign to add another mask. And I'm going to do subject. And it did them perfectly. Look how quick that was. So now I can lift the shadows a little. I can warm them up a touch so the skin really pops against this nice cool water. There you go. And it's pretty easy. I mean look how fast this is. And then um, here the sky I feel looks like really blown out compared to this one. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to click on sky. There you go. And we're going to bring down the exposure. I'm going to cool it down a little so it doesn't look so gray. And maybe give it a little saturation boost. There you go. Let's close this. Go here. There's our before and after. Insane. I think this tool is amazing. I've never been a big masker, um, mainly because it was just so tedious. I occasionally would use the gradial or the radiant. Um, but this is a game changer for all those clients that come back to you and you know we all shoot wide open and they're like, where's the blue sky? It was amazing. Where's all the color? But we shoot wide open so everything's blown out. We can fix that now and it looks amazing. This looks more authentic. Um, it looks professional and I just am so excited about these new tools and I hope this helps you guys learn how to use them. Thank you for watching our videos. Make sure you subscribe down below and give us a like and we'll talk to you soon.